Hello, I'm going to do the Taurus energy for the weekend for March 20th, 21st, and 22nd. So we'll see what energy do we have going on this weekend for Taurus. And this may or may not be your day for a reading. And if you felt you were drawn here to hear the message, I feel that that's also for you. All right, we have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is you're moving forward. You're putting some emotional baggage behind you. There was this, things that have happened. You are going to move forward, but you're not really sure which direction you're going to go in because it's illuminated by the, by the moon. The moon is like you can't see the path clearly ahead. You're moving forward for some, from something. You're putting something behind you. Um, <coughs> you're tired because he's leaning up against the pole. You've been through a lot, so it's a situation that you've had to deal with for a while or a situation that's been very emotional for you, and you're moving forward. It's been a lot for you. So this weekend, it's you're putting something behind you. All right, let's see. Let's see what romance angel energy we have. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you, you seek. So... It could be, maybe you're putting some, maybe you've been thinking about your ex, maybe you've been having that person on your mind, and that has not enabled you to move forward. Um, maybe you just, you know, you keep, you keep thinking about that person, and that didn't work out, and sometimes it's hard to accept, but you have to move on from that. Um, it could be because maybe there's a friend, th this could be the one. I feel like when I first saw this card, I felt like it's somebody new that's coming in. So it could be maybe somebody that you've met in passing. It doesn't have to exactly be everything that it says. Um, my first, like I said, my first thought is that it's somebody new because since you're able to put this emotional baggage behind you, um, and it doesn't have to be about an ex, it could be maybe you just had a lot of uh, work stress, you've had a lot of, I don't know, family stress, you've had a lot of stress things, and that sort of puts your aura, that sort of puts your light into your kind of aloof and you were kind of not really interested in meeting someone but I feel like once you put that baggage behind you you put that and you start to f feel like you're in a more positive light that you're happier that you're okay whew, I put that behind me now I can move on I feel like that special person is going to be able to come in and see that you're in a good headspace and be able to approach you so because that changes your whole energy or it could be if you're with someone and the two of you are having difficulties that you you know put that behind you maybe you've been arguing with your partner maybe you've been having a difficult time together and you haven't been getting along and you decide you know what let's just work through this we're going to work through this this weekend and we're going to move forward and that enables your relationship to be in a better place. So if you've already met that special person um, and there's been problems in your relationship, that this weekend you put that behind you. You move forward from that because you know that this is the person that you want to be with. All right. And we have Twin Flames, your passion ignites. So this could be the one. So, could be your twin, twin flame. Could be a passionate, 
Once you put this stuff behind you, you could have, be having a very passionate weekend. <laughs> so that that's definitely a positive thing. So don't hold on to things. Don't hold on to negative energy. Don't hold on to, you know, things that happened in the past and bring them back up and, you know, just move on from that. Move on from that so you can be, you can get yourself into a more positive space. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay positive and I will see you on Monday.